Hey everyone, it's Keisha Charmaine and I'm back and I'm here to talk to you all about body image and, and how I believe it's so important for us to talk about it because the more and more we talk about it, the less and less insecurities we'll have. You ever notice how kids are just so confident? Maybe not always, but very often I find that kids are so confident and they're so sure of themselves. They don't know anything, but they don't know that. They think they know it all. And the more and more they grow and learn, the more and more heartbroken they become. They have all of these outside influences in how they feel about themselves and their people. And it really, it could be really detrimental to their self-esteem. I remember myself as a kid growing up, I, I thought I was the cutest thing. I always did. <laughs> and um, yeah, I was pretty, pretty skinny. Um, for the most of my life, I still am pretty skinny. Okay, like black and like Latino culture, it's really different than maybe Asian and white culture because you know, thicker bodies are more glorified and they're seen as more beautiful than thinner bodies in general. Um, there's always exceptions, but in general, um, and even though I always thought that I was like the cutest little thing, like I remember being teased a little bit about being skinny and you know people would say that I had eating disorders um I mean at age like 10 like I mean I guess people do have eating disorders at all ages but I mean I didn't even know what that meant at the time like someone called me anorexic and I had to look it up I had never heard of it like I feel like it affected me to an extent but not as much as it could have because at the same time I was still getting so much compliments from people like Keisha you should be a model you know this and that so you know it kind of balanced out a bit but at the same time like yeah it still it still affected me negatively because I, I felt I felt like you know what maybe if I was more voluptuous if I had a more feminine body then people wouldn't have so much to say so maybe if I had bigger boobs or a bigger butt and bigger hips you know as I got older I feel like you know I got a little bit of hip action and um, I have a little bit of a booty at least for my size you know but I've never I never grew any boobs man I never did <laughs> and that always bothered me that always bothered me I, I went through puberty a little bit later than most of my peers which is interesting you know I heard somewhere or read somewhere that girls these days are going through puberty younger and younger and one of the reasons is because when men are around young girls men who are not related to the girls i guess pheromones hormones and things like that trigger these girls to go through puberty younger it like it's like a sign to tell them to be ready to make babies from having all of these men around them. I don't know how factual that is, um, but I think that's interesting. It's interesting to point out, you know, a lot of the times um, as, you know, the family dynamic is being destroyed more and more, a lot of the times women feel like, okay, we don't need to get married, we don't need to be with one man, but we're still having kids and we're, our kids are being around all of the different boyfriends and boy toys that we have and it's not healthy that being said um, yeah a lot of these girls went through puberty before me I went through I got my period at 13 I guess that's kind of average but like I mean from looking at statistics but not where I was not in my school <laughs> so I was a late bloomer and I always felt like you know what maybe I'll just get implants one day but the more and more I put thought into it, I don't want to have to alter my body to feel comfortable in my body. I mean, at the end of the day, we have freedom and with te different technologies, we can do whatever we want to our bodies and it's our prerogative. And I'm not here to judge anyone for their decisions, 
but in my particular case I feel like it's deeper than the physical so I just feel like if I were to go ahead and go under the knife and get some implants then I feel like the insecurity would just transfer to somewhere else like it's not all about my boobs and I feel like that's the case for a lot of people and that's I feel like that's how a lot of people become addicted to plastic surgery they they think that you know okay my nose is crooked let me just straighten it out and then I'm gonna be you know on fleek I'm gonna be the best like the best me that I can be and then they get their nose and now they start noticing, you know what, now, now that my nose is like this, you know, it kind of brings out the thinness of my lips. Let me get them plumped up now. Then they get their lips plumped up and then they realize, you know what, um, yeah, now my face is hot, but my body is not. So let me, let me just, you know, nip here, tuck here, plump up here, deflate here. And then like you're, now you're just like addicted and you're never really satisfied and again this is not the case for everyone a lot of people you know get one thing fixed and then fixed and then that's it but I feel like with these times people are so into that quick fix and it's not it's really not a quick fix it's more like you're just you're sweeping all the dust under the rug and you're not really cleaning up they say your house is not really clean if your closets are junky so I guess in conclusion, I just want people to feel like it's okay to be vocal about their insecurities of their body and their physical because the more and more normal it seems and the more and more normal we realize that it is, the more we're going to be okay with our flaws and we're not going to be so quick to run and fix it fix it if you made it to the end of this video please leave me a comment below letting me know what your physical insecurities are mine like I just said my boobs and also I love my eyes they're my favorite feature but sometimes they like they bulge in different angles they look at least they look like they're bulging in different angles I also don't like how bony my my arms are My eyebrows are naturally short. I have to draw them in to get the look that I like. That's pretty much it. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Love yourselves. Thanks for watching. Love, light, and locks.